Okay, designers, in this video we're going to look at how we would make shapes uh, that are more complicated than the default shapes we've created here using the Shapes tool. And to do that, we would use the hand drawing tools. So I'm going to go ahead and make a new design. And then we're going to look at the tools here under this one that looks like a pen. Now I'm going to start with the freehand tool, the bottom one that looks like a pencil. And as I draw with it, you will see it basically just lets me draw as if it was the pencil in MS Paint. But if you watch carefully, you can see it is cleaning up a little bit as I go. It still kind of looks messy. Because what it's actually doing is it's basically creating lines that are all connected together um, with these end vertices, just like if I had a line, like many, many lines in the line tool. But you can see this more complicated shape does give us uh, the ability to have uh, a border that follows it and does actually give us the ability to have a fill. By default here, there is not a color, but if I make it a color, you can see the way it tries to fill as if it was a complete shape. Notice it just connects wherever I ended to wherever I started and it makes a shape. Now. It also does not have an edge along this line, and that is because by default it doesn't close. I can click this little checkbox and it will close for me. If I want to make a shape that is more in control, I can try to close it myself and it will do that last bit for me. Also, one thing that you can do is before you start drawing, and ha but you have the tool selected, you can change your fill color as you go. So I can set it so that I have this green fill and I can make the border thicker. And then when I start to use the tool, it will draw with a bigger border. And when I finish, it will fill with the color. Now these still end up looking very messy because unless I have like a tablet connected, these motions don't look very nice and clean when using a mouse to draw. Which brings us to the other tool, the pen tool. Now the pen tool works like a line tool that is constantly in use. So when I click, I get a line that comes out and when I next click, it will continue clicking for me. And you see as I go, it is slowly filling in with this green. Much like when creating a line, if I hold shift, I can make sure that it goes in straight connections. Lastly, if I click and drag when creating, I get these handles that come out that create what we call a Bezier curve. Notice as this curves in, the handle here forces me to curve the other way out. And if I continue clicking and dragging, I can continue making curves or I can choose to stop. Since I clicked directly where I started, this completed shape is now closed and I can treat it much like I treated my rectangles in the previous video. I can resize it, I can change the insides, I can change where the border lines up just like anything else. If I do it again, but leave it open, I can click and choose to have the shape with appearance automatically close for me. The curve part of the Bezier tool is sometimes very hard to get used to because it moves in a way that you're not used to. It moves the line behind you as it goes and it also controls where the line that you haven't drawn yet goes. Notice the way that that handle controls my curve. While clicking and dragging, I can again hold shift only this time it is controlling the Bezier angle. You can also click and drag and hold Alt, which frees the front half of your angle to go in a different direction, which then means that my next curve can go in much stronger ways, such as making these um, sort of pointed hooks here that I'm curving with. You definitely want to spend some time playing around with this 
because getting used to how to draw these curves can take quite a bit of work. These are the freehand drawing tools, and in the next video we will look at how to edit existing shapes to make this easier for you.